The ballistic pendulum is used to determine the speed of a ball fired from a gun. It also reinforces your understanding of the law of conservation of linear momentum and the law of conservation of mechanical energy. What you do with this is you fire a ball into a pendulum and in the pendulum with the embedded ball swings to a maximum height. You use conservation of linear momentum for this part. When the ball leaves the gun, just as it leaves the gun, it has linear momentum. You take the mass of the ball times its unknown velocity. That's what we're trying to find. Then the ball gets embedded in the pendulum and at that moment you have the momentum of the pendulum with the ball embedded and that's found by taking the mass of the pendulum plus the mass of the ball multiplied by the velocity of the pendulum with the embedded ball and of course we don't know that velocity either but that's the linear momentum portion and then the pendulum with the embedded ball swings to its highest point. And for that portion of this investigation, you use conservation of mechanical energy. Okay, right here, when the ball just gets into, embedded into the pendulum, we have kinetic energy. One half times the mass of the ball plus the mass of the pendulum times the speed of the combination squared. And then, of course, at the highest point, we have um, potential energy mass of ball plus mass of pendulum times the acceleration due to gravity times the maximum height. Okay, let's see it operate. Okay, this will give us the angle of the swing and the angle of the swing is used to find the maximum height that the pendulum swings.